Good morning, and today is Fight a Sean Day. We pick a player at random, similar rank with Sean B. Same amount of days as well in RTA, and they will go ahead, uh, head to head in a best of three. Yeah? A uh, plap cup format where the loser of the first game will pick a mono element for the second game. The winner of this entire tournament today will get a free LD pack on me, which we will summon live on stream after the match. Let's just jump right into it. So, Sean, very meta. Yeah, last season's meta, Vert Fran in the first wave of picks. Oki first pick for Duende, also very meta with the, um, what you call that, the Water Barbarian King. Uh, yo, what's his name? Ager, yeah, and Ciara. So, there is a potential, uh, Ciara into a, um, uh, uh, Ager into a, Ager strip into Ciara Bomb, or Oki strip into Ciara Bomb on the side of Duende. But hey, Sean is mixing it up, busting out the newly patched Tyrone, interesting. So a pretty CC-centric team with Sean here. Um, normally, a team like this with Verd in front, Hathor would be drafted, yeah? But he's going with Verat Jr. And Duende picks Verat Sr. together with Tiana. So now it's tricky for Sean. Can he outspeed this Triana? I mean Tiana, my bad. Can he outspeed Tiana or does he go ahead and ban the CC? Yeah, so last pick for Sean. This pick has to be something that's that can change the game and be very much worthy of a ban so that maybe Verd and Fran gets let through. So it's, from the looks of it, it likely is going to be a Tiana ban from Sean and a really sensible play here. Yeah, and uh, because, uh, because he has immunity and he has a chance to resist the strip from Oki, right? So... Of course, Duende goes ahead and ban, uh, goes ahead and bans the uh, the two twenty multi from front. So now it's all a matter of does the Oki reset land, or what if Vert gets turn one? Then suddenly things are different. I expect Oki to get turn one though. Uh, yes, Oki gets turn one. He's going for the reset definitely. Now does he reset Triana to take out the multi? And he does so. So no multi for Sean. And he's exposed right now. Tyrone is exposed. Verd is exposed. You're looking at um, what's going to happen right now. Because there's no strip on the side of Sean. He's going to take the full absolute zero. But there's a chance. There is a chance. Okay. That Triana does immunity. There's a chance that Triana resists the Verat freeze. And cleanses right after. He's not going for the detonate though Because he doesn't want to take the Wind Panda defense break Is that gonna come back and bite him? Because Triana resists the Virat Freeze And Triana proc two violence before So that means Triana is gonna be able To cleanse the bomb Except Ciara has another bomb right now Because she proc the violent. So she puts a bomb And she's gonna be able to stun up And kill No, nothing dies though But Things are looking really bad for Sean It has to be Sean right now has to kill Ciara because that's the main damage output uh, from Duende. So if he can kill Ciara and somehow kill Oki, then Wind Panda solos them. Because everything is looking really bad right now for Sean and violent procs just keep going the way of Duende. We didn't even get to see uh, Varad Jr. do anything. He just died. Yeah, he's just gonna die right there. Bird is dead. Triana passive got popped there, I think, but because of the multi hit from Oki, it's over. So Tyrone is also dead. Another bomb from Sierra. This Sierra is popping up pretty much two turns every turn, uh, but gets resisted on this bomb. So it's two wind versus four units. However, these two units, the Wind Panda and Triana, have a good chance of of winning this. I think. Can he get a cleanse up? There you go. That's the healing music. He has to kill the Sierra. Is he gonna be able to do it? This Wind Panda needs a Violent right now! He gets a Violent! Does he get the kill? Or does he go for the heal? He tries to go for the kill! Not quite enough! It's not an Alpha! It's not an Alpha, Wind Panda! And with that crit, that's a dead Triana! That Panda has like no crit rate! However, if Virat does not reduce attack bar here, oh, he gets the freeze and the attack bar reduction. And that's it! Game 1 goes the way of Duende, 30% on his way to an LD pack. So Sean is going to pick a mono element for game 2. First pick for Duende, fire is the element of choice from Sean B. He goes with the Verd and Raccoonie. Duende is prepared for this. He was acting 
blur in the lobby just now pretending not to understand the rules but he is so prepared for this straight away with five fire units he had a plan ready for this <laughs> Sean busting out Ludo going for a content here but without immunity he's just gonna take one up behind I mean there's Rika there's Oki right there oh what's this the fire the red value What's the name of this guy? The fire druid. Fire druid. I, I don't know the name of it. So Rika would be the, the right ban here, obviously. Yeah? And Duende goes ahead and bans Altasarian. If Oki gets a good stun off, this is looking really bad for Sean. Because he has to He also has to deal with the fire mermaid revive and the reset for fire mermaid. There's a lot of debuffs. Yeah? A lot of debuffs on the side of um, Duende. Oh, but the reset gets resisted. Dragon attack onto Raccoonie. It's about time. It's about time. Because now Sean's gonna get a turn. Unless Transcendence pro- Holy crap, this thing defense breaks! What? It defense breaks! Ludo gets a double three, gets another turn! Rosa 2, not, not the damage buff though. Not the damage buff. Goes for the kill on Garo. This is gonna kill it. Noble Agreement is gonna kill it. Two hits. Dead Garo. Main damage source out the window. Oh my god, this druid is popping up. But wait, additional turn for the mermaid. Can he get a revive? Is he going for a revive? Or is he going for the reset? What's the play here? Is there anything to reset? Would the, re would the revive be the red play? Indeed, he goes for revive. But it's looking pretty bad. He rolls a 1, not the damage one, but he gets a violent drop. Another chance to get an additional turn. Lucky 7. What does he get? He rolls a 9, gets a stun! And I think this is in the bag! That fire drone, oh my god! Unless this mermaid procs to and every time I get another revival, this is looking really hard to come back from. He's gotta be thinking about the next element right now, I mean... Damn! <laughs> that fire drone plus Ludo! So much AoE damage! It's crazy! I mean, right now it's just, it's just, Ludo is just doing whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. The moment that Fire Jude landed all that AoE and then went into bear form and then did a chunk of damage onto the Lich, it was pretty much over already. Game 3 match point for both these players, win is the element of choice. First pick for Sean, he picks the Hathor, Duende goes with Ciara, Tiana, Sean uh, falling back on Triana and Feng Yen. Wait, that's a fire unit, buddy! Harmonia is fire! How do you say win? In, 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 how do you say win in, 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 in Spanish? No, 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 no! Yellow card. Beep beep. Yellow card. Okay, one more. One more Messi and you're going out. Okay? <laughs> okay, so we're repeating the drop because of a missed drop by Duende. So it's going to be Hathor and then Sierra Tiana. Okay, again the same thing. Then it's up to Sean. Does he go Triana and win Panda again? He goes Triana and win Panda again. I swear to God, if he busts out Harmonia one more time. Don't you dare! <laughs> viento! Viento! Woo, viento! Okay, so Wind Monkey and Wind Barbarian King picked up by Duende. He, he picked the Wind Element! Okay? He picked the Wind Element, but it seems like he can't find his Wind Unit. And so, Sean has the Gany Hawthorne. And now you, you, you are... You have to, you have to stop the Gany Hathor. Yeah, and, and of course, if you're Sean, you ban Tiana every time because those are all the debuffs, right? And if you ban Tiana, you have a chance with your will runes to reset the things over in Duende's side. So, resistance leader by Sean, speed leader by Duende. It's of course full will runes on Sean's side. It's looking very much favored for Sean. Very, very much favored for Sean because there's no strip, I think. Yeah, there is no strip. And 
and no will. So right away, three units go to sleep. And that's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. I mean, Sierra can put one bomb. That's it. Goes for the Hathor. Goes for the stun, but of course, Triana is going to be instantly going to be able to cleanse that. And unless this Wind Monkey pops off, even then, if you pop off as a Wind Monkey, you have to deal with the defense buff. And that's just not possible. Yeah? So right now, Sean's going to target the Squishy's target, which is the, uh, the, the Wind Bomber. However, however, Olivia has to give turn right now because if she doesn't, and the Wind Bomber gets off a bomb, that could be bad. Wait, he doesn't have bomb? Did he get reset? Oh, he got reset. Oh, he got reset. Ripperino then. <laughs> Ripperino. Can Will's back? Here, where is back? Where is Will? Can he proc some disperse? But no! Ganame not even letting him do any skills. Ganame with a violent proc right there. I mean, you you can't let Gany half go through. You just can't. And it's just... Unless you have... That double immunity. It's just... If you let it through, it's just gonna wreck you. It's just gonna wreck you. I mean, the only way I see him coming back is that if, if Sierra or, 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 or the Viento B Barbarian... <laughs> yeah? Or, or the, the Wind Monkey... Proc some crazy violence. But all he's gonna do right now, as the Gany Hathor user, you're gonna reset the guy you're gonna wait. And it can't do anything at all. And there's just too much turn cycling. There's just no way back for this. Unless you get a lucky despair stun right here. You see, that's just gonna happen over and over again. On the surface, it looks like uh, it looked like during the draft, like doing they did ban out the only damage dealer. Yeah? On on the side of Sean. But with Gammy Hathor, the way it works is that you're getting so many turns that even your supports are gonna be eventually gonna be able to dish out the damage. Because the game is gonna go long when the Triana's gonna gonna two shot something. Without you even getting a turn. So for those of you, uh Playing RTA maybe next season or even 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 in special league. I think it's 20 star RTA. Don't don't let the game half go through, yeah. Unless you're rocking that much immunity, like Amelia for example, which will likely get banned. If it's Genny half a user, he will likely ban your your, your 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 Amelia. So there's some takeaway from this. More of a story, okay. Just don't let Genny half go through, even though Genny has been nerfed. He can't strip anymore. But Hathor still strips. Yeah? And even though Hathor is only one strip. With Ventilate. She can strip and strip and strip and strip and strip until you're dead. Yeah? So, game 3 goes the way of Sean. Congratulations to Sean. Taking this in a very meta and very well played. Okay? Pure skill right there. So, we're going to hop onto Sean's account. And we're going to do the LD pack for Sean. And see if he gets lucky there. So we're on Sean's account right now. Lucky him. Well, not much luck there. Gany Hathor. Right? <laughs> not much luck there. Anyway, we're gonna summon that. One premium pack and one LD scroll. See if Sean can get lucky here. And maybe this will give him the itch he needs to push for G1 next season. So we're in channel 5000. Sean's favorite channel not a lot of summons just one ld scroll and 11 mystical scrolls i hope he doesn't get anything that i want let's just start no he's not gonna get bulwark <laughs> i will unsummon bulwark <laughs> if he gets bulwark no way give him the light bulwark yeah light bulwark that'll be good I'm gonna play on a Bulwark account uh, later this week as well. Because I just can't get enough of Bulwark Skogel. I'm gonna find one and play on one. It's so fun. 
I mean, I don't know if it's fun, but I don't know. I don't know if it's fun to watch, but it sure is fun to play because it's very absolute. You know, first lightning we got Jojo. Can we get the LD lightning though? Part of me is hoping we do, and part of me is hoping. Okay, I hope we get an LD lightning, but we get something like a uh, uh, Jin or <laughs> yeah, Jin or I don't know Aria. Yeah, Aria, Aria and Jin. Or something I have, then it's okay. Like, give him a Jaeger. Yeah, he needs a Jaeger. <laughs> give him a Jaeger. That's right. Everybody needs a Jaeger. Not Cadiz, not Cadiz. Jaeger. Everybody needs a Jaeger. Oh, here, we go. Second Lightning. Yeah? Biased. Oh my! I fucked this game! This game's stupid! This game's stupid! Please don't tell me this is new. This is not new. This is not new, you have it, right? You don't even, you're not overjoyed. You're not overjoyed, right? <laughs> he didn't even do the event! <laughs> Wow. Come plus bullshit. <laughs> wow. We lock it. We set rep for you. <laughs> Damn. What a value Gany. Hathor, right there. Value Gany Violent Prop, right there. So much value in that. It's the value of a Skogel. Amazing. Now, please don't give lightning, please. <laughs> no. Ah! No! No! I. F okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine. <laughs> Great game. <laughs> oh shit, I would have passed out. I would have passed out for something. <laughs> I would have absolutely passed out right there. <laughs> I mean, wow. Yo, you gotta wake. Oh my god. Alright, GG. Congratulations to you, man. Congratulations, Sean. Absolutely live it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, you, yeah, you you earned it, earned it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna go cry in the corner. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.